do no 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 all right hi everybody my name is chad knight aka c gay aka captain kimpachi and this is my first tactica um and it is on you guessed it necrons um let's turn down the music okay um basically I am a Necron player, I've been playing Necrons for a long time, and this is a basic rundown of the Necron Codex, not the entire Codex, this is just the basics, the things that I feel that if you are a player playing against the Necron, these, this, these are the things you need to know, and if you are a Necron player, this is simply the fun fundamentals of the Necron Codex and it's just a rundown of the things that you should know if you are a Necron player. Um, first off let's start with Dynastic Codes. It's basically chapter tactics. Um, it's found on page 52. Um, what's unique about this Codex is that they introduce new custom Dynastic Codes. We have some unique one I mean not the the dynast the unique dynastic codes and um circumstances of awakening or something like that. Um there some of them are good, some of them are bland, but chapter tactics and dynastic codes have never been too amazing. Um but the ones that are worth you going ahead you need to know is that if you're up against a Necron player you might be facing one um, you need to figure out which code they have because most likely these are the ones that you are going to be facing um, there's one dynastic code where if you're within half range it increases the AP of their weapon by one that turns a lot of their gods weapons into negative three weapons. Sprint five, negative three weapons is something that um, most armies have to respect because it means your marines are only getting the save on the six plus and you're getting hit on threes, wounded on threes. All of the core units, which I'm going to talk about later, the warriors, immortal, death marks, lich and the Tomb Blades um, can carry weapons that can benefit from that one, from that dynastic code. The next one is the plus one AP on the charge. Um, Necrons surprisingly have received a huge buff in CC in this codex. We can hold our own and we can fight in close combat um, with this plus one AP on the charge or when the unit is charged turns a lot of our weapons into minus four AP and that means no save. No save from two damaged weapons. Um, for instance the Scorpic um, destroyers um, their weapon becomes minus four AP sprint five minus four AP two wounds so you will get no save and it will kill a Primaris um, marine um, so that one's really powerful um, and then Sawtech of course have the um, make double attacks at 18 inch range with rapid fire weapons basically um, a lot of that's, that one's really good if you're up against the old school warriors um, who have all the gods flares and then Doomsday arcs and ghost arcs. You're just going to be getting overwhelmed with a lot of firepower from pretty far off. Um, and then the customizable ones. Even even though this one's not, is both a customizable dynastic code and is one that's offered by a dynasty. Um, it's all of all your units are objective secured. Um, so yeah, we already know how powerful objective security can be in 9th edition and that dynastic code makes all your units 
objective secured and it makes it to where if you already have that rule warriors and immortals they count as double so three warriors on an objective is enough to claim the objective away from a five-man primary um, unit intercessor squad or something like that um, and then there's another one the, the more popular one that you've probably been hearing about is the free six inch move you just move six inches um, is basically like the old school scout um, being able to get closer to the objective being able to take advantage of terrain um, all of those things um, or can happen with that I think that is an awakening one alright and the next one is core units um, unlike the Marines we don't have everything in our book is not core. We have warriors, warriors, immortals, death marks, lich mark, lich guard, and tomb blades are core. Um, and the reason why this is something you need to know is because a lot of our stratagems, a lot of our buffs um, require core units. It will say core units. And so, if you see a destroyer, a Scorpion destroyer, or Wraiths doing something really cool, you might want to check the rule to make sure it's not an ability that's only supposed to be used with core units, because most likely it is. Um, and out of those core units, um, the Warriors. They have a new weapon. They now have an Assault 2, Sprint 5, minus 2, 1 damage gun. Um, they changed the Gauze Reaper. It, it is Assault 2, Sprint 5, minus 2 weapon. So that weapon can be transformed into the into the Sprint 5, minus 3 that I was warning you about. Immortals are now Toughness 5. two attacks um, so they're harder to kill toughness five is big time um, against outriders um, that is the main main change with immortals the in not being able to like just submit to bolter fire is huge with them because of that toughness five um, also forgot to mention with warriors uh, with the reanimation protocol role which is I'll discuss later on if they roll a one on the die they get to re-roll it which helps out um, death marks are now also toughness five um, I'm not 100% sure if they also gain the attack um, I can I'm going to go ahead and check that real quick since I have the codex nearby. Um, they did not get the extra attack, but they did get the extra toughness. Um, and their gun is now heavy one, um, sprint five minus two, one damage. It is a sniper weapon, basically and instead of hitting but their ballistic skill increased to a two plus so they can still move around and hit on a three plus like all other necrons or they can take advantage of their new toughness five sit on an objective using the new using one of the all units or objective secured so basically the death marks can now take the role of the immortals of the previous codex and they can do it better because they hit on the two plus and they also can shoot at characters um, they ignore the lookout several um, and the reason why you want to do that I mean 
have you seen the new apothecary for space marines it makes cryptics jealous of imperium science um, the new apothecary basically just boop one new unit back up anyway I'm not going to turn that not talk about that but next is the lich guard the lich guard gained an attack so now it pumps out three attacks which is amazing tomb blades um, now I have a minus one to hit when you're shooting at them um, and they're core but they continue to you know have the speed and the ability to to get those two gods fly um get those shots anywhere you want them and you can make them and now they can be objective secured so you can have those things flying around flying around getting to objectives next thing i you need to know is the quantum shielding um quantum shielding is a four five plus invulnerable save um and he the vehicle can only be wounded on the four plus. Um, that is compared to the previous one. Um, to the the Necron players who's thinking about, is it better than the other one? It depends on the weapon. Certain weapons, obviously, the old school one was better. With this one, certain weapons, this one is better. But with the pl the armor save of those vehicles going to a three plus, I feel that this one is overall better just because of the fact that we're going to be seeing a lot of melt weapons so a third of their shots missing um, half of them getting through and then I don't know I just I, I think I just like the new one just because I like the invulnerable save and I just like the way those numbers work when I'm thinking about the half Think about oh, there some of them. Are, some of their shots are going to miss. Half of them are not going to make it through the wound. A third of them are not going to. It's just number-wise, it fits. Um, and now living metal is on everything. If you have a, if you have more than one wound, you have living metal. So scarabs who also gained one wound, they're no longer three wounds. They're four wounds. Um, they have it. Um, Lich Guard have it, Tomb Blades have it. Um, anything with multi wounds have regain one wound in the command phase. Um, and now we are going to go to the dojo because it's time to talk about reanimation protocol. Um, reanimation protocol is a unique five plus feel no pain um, that mostly benefits single wound models. Oh, wrong one. Oh man, what happened? Alright, so welcome to the dojo people. <laughs> it's very simple. This is the only thing I can really think that can like show y'all dice rolls at the same time. Um, I can actually have a miniature display so um, we're going to I'm going to show you how it works um, normally you just this now you get a roll for after each attack compared to the past you didn't get a roll after each attack you only got a roll at at the beginning of your turn so that right there is an improvement the bad part about it is with multi wound models and here we go let's let's take the infamous eradicator unit that everybody's going crazy over they're going to shoot at the wraiths full eradicator unit roll 12 d6 one two three so nine ooh, that's gonna hurt nine 
d6. Ooh, that's better. That's better for the Necron player. So one, two, three, four misses out of the nine. So five saves. So slash roll five d6. Um, Wraiths no longer have their invulnerable save. They only have their, I mean, they no longer have the three plus. It went down to a four plus, but they have a three plus armor save. So roll five d6. And one, two, three die. So we're going to go one, two, three die. Now, the way it works is after you remove the models, you count the number of wounds characteristics of those models. Uh, Wraith has three wounds, and there's three of them died. So that would mean a total of nine saves. So slash roll nine d6. Now what we do, we put all the five pluses into a pool. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six five pluses. Now I roll extremely good. There's no way in this world you're supposed to roll six that well with this dice. I mean with nine. That isn't supposed to happen. But it did. So six dice six five ups. And you divide it by the number and you basically count up the wounds. One, two, three. A wraith come back. So one wraith come back from three. One, two, three. Since I have six. So one, two, three. One came back. One, two, three. Another one comes back. Now, all right, this is what I wanted to show you. That's the way it works. But the trick that the thing that I wanted to show you is this right here. You, I'm not really doing a good job, but two inches right so let's say you put this like as far over here as possible maintaining coherency with this guy and this guy and then the next model res you then use use the coherency between this model and this model these two models and you put the model over here. The spice with reanimation protocol people is that you can move your units slowly to wherever direction benefits you. You can move them closer to an objective if you want to. In my case, this eradicator unit shot and killed these guys. I rolled amazingly and got two back and I used that movement to move the wraiths closer to the ATV unit. So this unit is now probably four to six inches closer to this ATV um, unit. And if they get attacked again, let's say something else attacked them. And let's say I get attacked with the same results. And one, two, three die.
and I have to roll that 9d6 again. Let's see, there's another eradicator unit somewhere. See, this is more realistic. Only getting two. So with that two, I do not get any back. And so I'll be stuck there with just those. But let's pretend I did get one back. I can put that one here. And now the Wraith unit that started here behind, in deployment zone is now a f I don't know how far away this unit is from that. Now this guy can charge this unit with ease or get that unit with ease because it gained easily four to six inches off of reanimation protocol. Now let's see what happens with the warriors. This is the new cool unit and it will be shooting at our new unit. The ATV is the awesome eight shots a piece is basically eight times three is 24 d6s one two three four five six seven miss so that's 17 slash roll 17 d6 all right um so, so wounding on fives one, two, three, four, five, six. So that means 11 saves slash roll 11 D6. We're going to act as if the light cover protocol is in play because I, as a Necron player, you get to choose which protocol you use. And in this scenario, most players are going to put the light cover protocol in place so they can get the extra plus one to their saves. So now their warriors are at a three plus. That negates, and basically that just is going to negate the heavy doctrine that the ATVs have. So with that being said, I lost one I got minus two, so only five, so one, two, three, four. So I lost seven so far from that weapon. And then the other, I think that would be 18 shots, 18 D6s, one, two, three, we're going to miss only three shots. Wow. Slash roll 15 D6. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've um, got to make eight saves. Slash roll 8 D6. Um, and one, two, three, four. Four died from that weapon. So now that's a total of 11. One, let's get all these guys in the back, delete it. That's what's going to happen. Delete all of these guys. I wish I had a, like a click and drag. <laughs> all right. So now 11 died. 
Now with one wound models, you don't have to count, all, do the math and hope that you get three or two. It's just every five up, you get a model back. Eleven D six. Let's see what happens. All right, I got one, two, three, four, five, six guys came back. I rolled a one. Necron warriors have a special rule; they can re-roll ones. No, so I got one, two, three, four. Five, six came back. Two, three, four. Five. All right. Now I can go one, two, three, four, five, six. Do you do you get what I'm doing? I am simply getting closer to this unit. So now let's put this into play. Let's let's start the game. And all right. So here let's say I have this little thing and this is a ghost art and ghost arts get to add d3 units back to a warrior squad but there's a stratagem where you can add d6 so you can spend one d6 and we'll spend one strategy point to add D6 warriors back. And I'm going to do that because I'd like to, I mean, one stratagem can potentially turn into half of a unit. Let's see what we get. Three. So I get three back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I also have this right here. That's a tech. No master. I'm just gonna put T E C. He gets to put a D three back slash roll D three. So one. Boop, boop. So now this unit is at one, almost back to full strength. You give it let's pretend you have your you have your warlord my will be done goes here so now this unit hits on twos you didn't move this unit up it's six inches So now all this you all of these because I know because of the other rule now you have a unit of what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen the eighteen man unit is now back up let's pretend that out of those eighteen. If they were all armed with Goss Reapers, okay, let's go with 10 of them are within half range so they get the extra AP. 
and that same dynasty has a warlord have a command of stratagem where they can on a wound roll of six it counts as a mortal wound but it can only do a maximum of three mortal wounds and there's also another stratagem to where each six <laughs> each six you roll to the hit counts as an additional hit so 10 so that'll be 20 let's see slash roll 20 d6 1 2 3 4 5 5 miss but I have 1 2 3 four sixes so so 19 hits slash roll 19 d sixes so this unit is going to automatically take the three mortar wounds one two three it then is going to have one two three one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen saves to make at minus three. Or, or, or are those ATVs toughness six? Let's make sure now. I don't want to mess this up. Are you toughness six? Nope, the toughness five. But they are eight wounds. Good God Almighty. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve saves. Slash roll. Twelve D6s. So one, two saved. So ten plus the three mortar wounds. So so far thirteen wounds. And I said ten. I had shot twenty shots and this unit has how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So it has eight more guys times two. So that's 16. Now the Mephrit Dynasty, of course, gives you an extra three inches to your range. So I'm assuming that with them moving up that close and them moving up that far, that would be enough. Um, so 16, 16 shots. All right, no ones, so that means all hit. And with the stratagem, we're looking at one, two, three, four, five extra hits. So 21 hits. One, oh, not as good as the other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that, that was horrible. Slash roll seven d six. And then I had already did thirteen, so fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So yeah, so this unit did 19 wounds to this unit. 
and that is what you can do with reanimation protocol you can literally move stuff up if you have you re, you have two guys left you regain d3 from a techno master one just put that one in the middle you gain another d3 from a Go start. Oh my gosh, man. why are they doing me like this? Put it up there. And you can basically, that's the way it works. Anytime you reanimate, anytime you just add back to a, uh, a warrior squad, you can just move them up and voila. And with other units you can bring them back closer to enemies to get closer for shooting attack I mean for assaults you can use it to um, get out of range of other weapons get out of close combat I mean like if you're getting shot at okay I'm just gonna make the assault harder if I'm getting shot at okay that unit shot me but now the other one I'm using I'm now in. Um, I'm not. I'm now scared. There's so many things you can do with reanimation protocol that um, it's just going to take skill to get used to how to, to doing it. But yeah, I think that's saucy. Well, I just what you can do here. You so, just just move closer so you can get into rapid fire range or assault two range or into assault range um, and that is all I have for now um, if you like the video click the like button if you want to join squad 11 go ahead and subscribe I will be have I will have more videos coming soon I will probably do the next video on stratagems um, or um, start doing units but I think I'm going to start with stratagems no I think I want to do units first that way when the stratagems come I can just introduce the stratagem at the same time as the unit so you can see how it works um, but um, I am just getting started um, please leave comments so I can know what I need to do to improve um, and thank you for watching